Assalamu alaikum. Dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of the Almighty. So today I am here from Labib and Jafik Second. Today our class is class 3 English version students. And our today's subject is elementary science. And our today's chapter is chapter 8. So students, today are going to do some exercises of this chapter. So let's start. So dear students, the name of this chapter is hygiene. So at first we have some filling the blanks. Number one, we may get sick when germs enter into our body. Number two, to keep good health, we need to eat nutrition food. Number three, we should put garbage or waste in dustbins or in specific places. Number four, if we do not keep our body neat and clean, we will get ill. Here is a mistake. Now let's go to the tick marks. Number one, what is a good habit to avoid getting sick? Number one, eating lots of food. B, washing hands. C, sleeping late. D, eating uncovered food. So students, the answer will be B, washing hands. Number two, what is an important way to maintain good health? A. Taking enough sleep and rest. B. Working hard. C. Taking a lot of medicine. D. Eating too much. So the answer will be A. Taking enough sleep and rest. Now let's go to the question answers. So there are students. I have given the answer written by myself. And here are the questions that are given in the book. So number one, what should you do after using toilets? Answer, we should wash our hands after using toilets. Number two, mention two ways to keep the environment clean. Answer, two ways to keep the environment clean are given below. Number one, throwing garbage at dustbins or a specific place. Number two, cleaning the surroundings regularly. Number three, explain how to wash your hands properly. Answer, using soap and clean water to wash hands is the best way for cleaning them. Then number four, give four good habits to prevent diseases. Answer, Four good habits to prevent diseases are given below. Number one, washing hands. Number two, keeping the body clean. Number three, using safe water. Number four, cleaning the environment. Number five, where are the germs found? Answer, germs are found everywhere. Germs can easily, easily be found in door handles travels, chain, or toilets. They can spread through sneezes, coughs, mosquitoes, and house flies. Number six, why do we need a clean environment to stay healthy? Answer, our surroundings are full of invisible germs. These germs can cause many diseases. Dirty environment increases the spread of germs. Germs and diseases make an unhealthy make us unhealthy. So, clean environment is necessary for being healthy. This, this is why we need a clean environment to stay healthy. So, students, these are the questions answers that are given in the book. Now, let's go to our next exercise. So, dear students, now we are in extra question. These are the questions I have made by myself for this chapter for your benefit. So, let's go through these questions. Number one. What is disease? Answer. When germs enter our body and make us sick, it is called a disease. Number two. How can we keep our body healthy? Answer. A list of my healthy habits is given below. A. A well-balanced diet. B. Moderate exercise. C. Enough rest and sleep. D. Washing hands before eating and after using washroom. E. Drinking safe water. F. Taking bath every day. G. Cutting nails properly. 
Number three, how do jams spread? Answer, jams are everywhere, in drawer handles, tables, chain, or toilets. We can pick up jams and spread them through touching. Jams can also spread through sneezes, coughs, mosquitoes, and house flies. So students, these are the extra questions that I have made myself for this chapter. So dear students, that's all for today. Hope you have liked the video. If you like the video, then don't forget to like, comment, and also don't forget to share. And for new videos, must subscribe our channel. So that's all for today. Assalamualaikum.